Small Town Live. I had a chance to go to the beautiful city of Alto to see 1,200 years of East Texas history. Have a look. Today in Alto, we got kind of rained out, so right now we're pre-recording something. Kettle Mounds, and this is Tony, you're the caretaker, right? I'm the site manager here. I work for the Texas Historical Commission. So tell us about the mounds, like over here. How, what is this uh, historical thing? The, the larger mound on the museum side of State Highway 21, that's the burial mound. Uh -huh. uh, we've got three mound com... Which, uh, which tribe? Uh, Caddo, Caddo Tribal yeah. Group. There's a modern-day Caddo Nation of Oklahoma. I've actually got two Caddo here on site uh -huh. today, right now. When did they live here? Uh, they were, this site was active from around 750 A.D. to uh, wow. about 1300 A.D. Tell me about this sort of snake woman's garden over here, Will, can you pan over there and say that? So, uh, so pretty much is this indicative of what the Indians had? Uh, snake woman's garden, that is what we, it's an interpretive garden. Yeah. We tried to show what the Caddo used, ate and used when they were here at this site. But as you walk around the garden, it was intended to show how the food waste changed over yeah. time. So from Caddo time up to the modern day garden the Caddo woman would have today. And the bees love it, I guess, huh? They do. Look at pollinator. So what is this, this little straw hut? Uh, don't ever call it a hut uh, when you're a in, with straw, a Caddo. Okay. It is straw house. house. Straw, house. It, straw it, house. It, it is called a Caddo house. Um, and inside, the Caddo lived just like we do today. Uh, they slept on raised beds. Uh, this house is about 25 feet in diameter at the base. Uh, it has just been completed. We put the last Good. bit of thatch on it in December. Uh, the 2019 tornado yeah. uh, took it and the museum out. Uh, and we had to take it. The grass house just went away. That's right. So, so what can you show that the, the, this is going to be the new visitor center? When will that be open? Uh, the visitor center will be open, um, I'm hoping, by the end of this year, first part of next calendar year, I'm hoping this building will be open to the public. I'm hoping in about three weeks to actually get the keys to the building, and then the exhibit company will go in and start installing it. But still, exhibits. you have a nice little place right now. We do. We had today the Texas Archaeology yeah. Society is doing their week-long field school in that and we had a uh, about 35 to 40 uh, youth here with that organization and about 10 adults we had about 50 people here the grass house was one of the interpretive points house, for that but house. house when are you open uh, we're open uh, Wednesday through Sunday, the grounds and the temporary visitor center are open from 8.30 to 4.30 in the afternoon. On Tuesdays, the grounds are open, no charge, yeah. and we're always closed on Mondays. That's great. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right.